Greetings, Your Majesty. Yes. Who are you? And what is the problem? Your Majesty, my name is Gopal Chand. I make and sell butter in the marketplace. About a month back, I lent some money to Chandumal, and now not only he refuses to pay it back, but denies he ever borrowed it. Hmm. Well, Chandumal, what do you have to say? He's lying, Your Majesty. I never borrowed any money from him. He's just trying to tarnish my image and reputation to hurt my business. Well, Birbal, do you want to look into this matter? Yes, Your Majesty. Gopalchand, now tell me exactly what happened. Sir, one evening more than a month back, as I was about to close my shop for the day, Chandumal came to see me at my shop. <laughs> Good evening, Gopal Chand. How have you been doing? Good evening, Chandumal. This is a pleasant surprise. How are you? I am doing fine, Gopal Chand. But I have come to ask you for a favor. Of course. Tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I need to buy some butter to prepare ghee, and I am running short of some money. I was hoping you could lend me a hundred gold coins, and I would pay you back in a month's time. Sure. After all, if I needed help, I know I could count on you too. Here you are, Chandumal. A hundred gold coins, as you asked. Thank you, Gopal Chand. You are a true friend. And yesterday. When I went to ask him for the money, he not only refused to pay it, but also completely denied having ever borrowed it. Now tell me your part of the story, Chandumal. Sir, I used to consider Gopal Chand a good friend, and Gopal Chand would drop by my shop often. Hello, Chandumal. How are you? And how is business going? Hello, friend. How are you? Business is good by the grace of God. How is your business doing? It's going just fine. Couldn't be better. And then yesterday, out of the blue, he came to my shop and asked me to pay up hundred gold coins I supposedly borrowed from him a month ago. He's lying, Your Majesty. I never borrowed any money from him. He wants to tarnish my reputation to damage my business. Do you have anyone who will stand witness to you having lent Chandumal the money, Gopal Chand? I'm afraid not, sir. You see, when he borrowed the money, it was late in the evening, and there was no one around. Your Majesty, I will need a little time. It is obvious that one of them is lying. And we need to find out who that is. All right, Beedbal. You take your time. I'll leave this matter to you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Sevak Ram. Yes, sir. Sevak Ram, I want you to go to the marketplace and find out more about both the butter traders, Chandumal and Gopal Chand. As you wish, sir. Sir, it seems that though Gopal Chand and Chandumal are both competitors. People in the marketplace are more wary of dealing with Chandumal, whereas everyone is of the opinion that Gopal Chand is a very honest man. Good, Sevak Ram. Now I need you to do something else. Go to the marketplace, posing as a seller of butter, and sell a pot each to both the traders. I have also put a gold coin in each of the pots. 
you will stay at a guest house in the marketplace for tonight and come back tomorrow and tell me which one of the traders returns the gold coin back. As you wish, sir. Well, Birbal, I believe you have figured out who the culprit is. I certainly have, Your Majesty. It is Chandumal who is the liar. And do let us know how you arrived at this conclusion, Birbal. Your Majesty. And when Sevakram told me that it was Gopal Chand who returned the gold coin back, I had no doubt but to believe that it was Chandumal who has been lying. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. First you cheat the very friend who helps you in your need and then you ask for forgiveness? You shall pay Gopal Chand the hundred gold coins that you owe and another hundred gold coins for the anguish you have caused him. Thank you, Your Majesty. You must thank Birbal, who has made sure justice was done. Bravo, Birbal. Bravo. Thank you, Raja Birbal. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty.